Massive ovation for Yuya Yamamoto and Rio Ready. One of these two men will go through the final. Semi-final number one, Italy and Armenia's Giorgio Petrosian takes on the sole Japanese hope, Yuya Yamamoto. Referee calls both men into the centre of the ring. Giorgio Petrosian, the outright favourite. Will this fairy tale run for the Cinderella story, Yuya Yamamoto, have a happy ending? Or do happy endings only happen in massage parlours? We are ready for three rounds of action. Michael Chavello, Mike Kurgan with your inside. The 25-year-old Yamamoto, the 23-year-old Dr. Petrosian. One extra round in case of a draw, two knockdowns in one round under tournament rules, and the fight is over. The winner will take on either Buakau or Andy Sauer in the final. Look at the support. Old and young alike have turned out here at the Yokohama Arena. Yeah! to support Yamamoto. Hey! Petrosian, as always, focused, calm, southpaw fighter. And Yamamoto comes out leg kicking. Petrosian traditionally will start slow. Look for him to counter everything that Yuya throws off first. Checks the low kick. Oh, beautifully done. A shoot across orbital bone. And a nice left hand lead from Petrosian. He's not coming out very slow in this round. Wow. I think because Yuri Yamamoto's style is kind of a, you know, uh, more of a brawler style, uh, Petrosian is choosing to brawl with him here early on in the first round. Look at Petrosian, just takes the lead leg out. He cannot afford to endure any sort of punishment here if he's looking towards either Buakau or Sauer in the final. Look For that matter, nor can Yuri up. Yamamoto. Ooh, smack, bang to the liver section off the left leg, being the real leg of Southport. Nice ball. Petrosian throws everything with excellence of execution. This is just champagne, Mike. Oh, it is. I mean, it, you know, I'll be honest with you. It's hard for me to commentate his fights because I just want to shut up and watch him. It's unbelievable. And he's, he's starting way early on here uh, in the first round. Uncharacteristic of his, of his normal style. Have a look at that, he cuts off the ring, drifts off to his left. What Yamamoto wants to be doing is pulverizing with the right cross. It is the number one enemy of the Southpaw fighter and Yamamoto hasn't really thrown it yet. Yeah, but Trojan is, is all business here in the first round. You know, I read his pre-fight interview uh, in which he received a little bit of a criticism for being just not, just too technical and kind of not very exciting. Petrosian, he is ready to finish here. Still a long way to go, 57 seconds. Petrosian's gonna hammer him one more knockdown, it's all over. It's good night, Irene. Bravo, Georgia, Forza Italia. My man is through, Mikey, my man is through. Unbelievable performance from uh, Petrosian, but as I was saying right before he knocked out Yuya Yamamoto, he said in his pre-fight interview, you know, he was kind of criticized. He was asked a question like, you're, you're very technical, but you're not a very exciting to the crowd fighter. Are you going to try to change your style? And he said, no. all I'm going to do is increase my tempo. And that's what he that's did. That's what he just did. Mike, I've said it from the start of this year. I've been following his Muay Thai career since he started back in 2003. Giorgio Petrosian, ladies and gentlemen, Signora Signore, he is just too Good, and he'll show it here tonight, Mike. Well, he will walk through well, whoever he meets in the final. Well, I'm he's telling you now. Yeah, he's showing it already right now. And, you know, the, the beauty is, like, anything this man does is with pinpoint precision in the ring. And what he said in the interview is exactly what he just delivered in the ring. He said, 
Am I going to change my style? No. It's impossible for a fighter to change his style. His style is his style. Because what I can do is pick up the tempo, and that'll make me exciting. And look what he just did. Exactly what he does. Pinpoint precision in his striking and, and kicking, but with a lot higher tempo. You know, Mike, there are fighters in the world that you just watch for aesthetically beautiful technique. I'm talking guys like Floyd Mayweather Jr. I'm talking mixed martial artists like Anderson Silva. I'm talking... A kickboxer, Muay Thai fighter, K1 fighter like Giorgio Petrosian. That is how beautiful Petrosian is. He's like a fine Italian piece of art. He should be hanging in the Vatican Museum. Giorgio Petrosian, without raising a sweat, is through to the final of the K1 Max. Folks, coming up next, it will be semi-final number two. Who will take on the awesome Giorgio Petrosian in the final? Let's be